Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Frey, or Frey Darkness, if you prefer, and I'm bringing you a 16-2 game player here on Slums. Now, I actually haven't posted Slums in a long time, which is strange, considering Slums is such a small map, and, yeah. And I can't believe it, actually, just by looking at the scoreboard, I went 16-2 with only three people on the other team. I assume some people joined. Now, actually, this was a tough decision for gameplay, because I, I was either going to go with this, or a 43-0 and Flawless. Which I just discovered I had. I thought I already posted all my flawless, but apparently I got that. And apparently I got it the day after Christmas. So, yeah. I, I don't know why I, I haven't posted that before, but yeah, there you go. But I chose this one because it's shorter. And I like shorter videos because they are easier for me to upload with my crappy connection. Anyways, though. Enough about the gameplay. Of course, it's amazing. Thank you for your comments. But please keep them to yourself or and the comment section. I want to go ahead and talk about GTA 5 on Wii U, why I think it should be on Wii U, and yeah, just my simple opinion, just me discussing the matters of this game being developed on another console. Now so far, GTA 5 is only slated on release to the Xbox 360 and the PS3. It hasn't been talked about for PC or next-gen consoles yet, which is fairly unfortunate. Let me just get off the actual Wii U topic here and just say that it would be unfortunate if it doesn't get a PC release because I'm pretty sure GTA in general is as popular as it is because of PC. I mean, how many videos, how many mods have been created for GTA San Andreas? That game online was so flipping popular on PC. When I was a kid, I got scared to play GTA alone because I saw these mods that involved the ring and other creepy stuff in the game. And I thought, I didn't know about mods, I thought this was actually on, in the game and it could be triggered randomly. And I just, I got scared shitless, so I stopped playing when people were out of the house. I only played when people were in the house because I, I was just creeped out. However, now I know that they're mods, so I don't really mind. I still get creeped out at times simply because I let my imagination run wild, but that's due to other things, other aspects. With that said, mods really had a huge effect in my life, particularly the PC versions of GTA as well. I always loved GTA, I played it since I was a kid, and I know it might be inappropriate because, you know, this game is sure. And I actually managed to get GTA San Andreas the first day it came out before all the all the stuff came out about you have to have your parent with you and they have to like obviously be consenting to stuff now, however now I'm, I'm old enough to go ahead and get the game I still get asked for my license I mean come on do I not look 18 to you damn <laughs> um but yeah uh, that's something just something about me I really really want to see it come to Wii U though because it's it's a fantastic game. I can only expect it will come to next-gen consoles, and the Wii U is a next-gen console. However, you know, Wii U is in terms of third-party development has, or Nintendo in terms of third-party development, always has been somewhat of a of a loot subject. I feel like no one really wants to talk about it because no one really trusts Nintendo. They th I, I personally think every developer out there thinks Nintendo is just going to fail fairly soon. And I'm, I'm honestly starting to believe it because there's, I mean, there's rarely any development besides first-party games on the Wii U. Which is a shame. And I mean, the PC version. Come on, man. Mods. Mods is what makes PC so fantastic. Mods is what make me buy PC versions of games over console versions of games, which is fantastic. Anyways, moving on to the Wii U version. I really want to see it on Wii U because Wii U is the only next-gen console, or, or really the only console, that gives you a dual-screen experience. And I really want to see that. I've re when I heard first heard about the gamepad, I thought of games that involve uh, hmm, some kind of sandbox aspects. You know, I mean, imagine Minecraft. Instead of loading up to that screen and interrupting you while playing, you just load it up on your gamepad and press, press, press. I mean, granted, I'm still going to play Minecraft on PC because of mods, but I mean, playing it on console, it definitely would be the best to play it on Wii U because of the second screen aspect. And 
you know, they redefined or they recreated the way you select weapons now. They give you like a scroll wheel so you can select weapons now in GTA 5. But what if you just, you know what, leave that for other consoles and give us, we, you gamers, with our gamepad, with our freaking touchscreen 1080p awesomeness. I mean, shit, man. I watch Netflix on that constantly because it's freaking, you can type on the screen. It's, I, I love it. Um, yeah, you get your whole gun selection there. You can just click, 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 click. I mean, imagine every game if it had it. I can only imagine Last of Us instead of opening my backpack and digging through stuff. Tick, tick, tick on my touch screen on my gamepad, and just, I mean, I, that's what I really wanted to see. I wanted to see all these game. Of, of course, Last of Us was a, a exclusive, but I mean, in the general sense, I would love to see all these third-party games come onto the Wii U. This is what I had envisioned when it was first revealed. I wanted these games on Wii U, and it feels like. You know, before, obviously, they don't get released on Wii because of the hardware limitations, but now, come on, there's no real limitations. And, man, the gamepad just offers so much more actual... What's the word? It lets you get more into the game. It, 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 it offers more immersion. I mean, Wii U has built-in motion controls. I mean, you read out... Well, unless you have the Wii, I guess. If you previously had the Wii, you have the Wii remotes. But out of the box, it comes with the freaking dual screen. Set, the, the gamepad is, which is great. And then you can use motion controls, or you can use the gamepad. You can have audio come out of the gamepad only, or the TV. It, it offers so much customization too. I mean, maybe when you're driving in GTA 5, you can actually go ahead and I don't know, look at your gamepad, and, and the gamepad just gives you the second view of a car, like the mirror, so you can look back. Or I don't know when you're in a plane, it gives you the entire uh, all the instruments, so you can actually have a cool experience when flying. What if you're when you're using your uh, camera instead of actually you know taking up a little camera on screen and taking snapshots, you can actually go ahead and just lift up your gamepad towards your TV and make use of the gamepad as if it were a camera. There's just so many aspects that this Wii U gamepad could be uh, used for, especially in GTA. And I really want to see GTA 5 come on to the Wii U because of all those aspects that I was speaking of. There's so much more. I, I can't even imagine how much more because, well, I don't know, I don't know exactly how the game looks yet. But it definitely, the second screen aspect to the Wii U is definitely what makes the Wii U so special and so different from the other consoles. And I really want to see these games be developed on the Wii U, particularly GTA 5, because I am a huge fan of the GTA series. And I can only imagine the second screen would make GTA so much cooler. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope GTA 5 gets released on Wii U and other consoles. Equality, let's all just get the game everywhere. And I hope you guys like the gameplay itself. Thank you for all for watching. I really appreciate it. Free Darkness out.